and I had to I had to scan my brain because it knocked me out. The Gladius knocked me out. It is one of those ships that it just is exhilarating to fly, and it is fun for me to actually be able to fly a ship for a change. I'm I'm really tired of the concept ships. Uh, I mean, I, I get it. I'm happy they do the concept ships. It brings money into the game. Good for them. But I want to fly them. I want to fly the ships. You know, we're in the alpha stage still. Let's release ships that are ready to go. Great on the concept. Let's just package it all together and at least make them flyable. You know, on the bigger ships, I understand. Now, we're going to be doing a review on the Gladius. We'll, we'll also do, be doing a review on the Gladiator. Had a lot of fun with this ship. It was a little sleek, short-range fighting ship. Its rule primarily is going to be in system, going from nav point to nav point to patrol for baddies. This is a pure killer. It's sleek. It's hard to hit unless people are coming from your Y axis. But if they're coming from your X, it's very hard for them to hit you because it's a very slim styled ship. I think one of the things people do not talk about, and the reason why I love these videos is because I want to bring this perspective to you guys. This ship would be a great ship to complement any corporation or organization that has a carrier. There are going to be those types of group minded people that will have that type of money that will put that money in for those types of carriers and the person that owns that carrier is going to want to stock it with a whole shit ton of these and make sure there are no jump drives on it so that his assets do not jump away from him. He wants to make sure that these are dependent upon the mama ship <laughs> and he will win a lot of wars with these ships. It doesn't look like much on paper. We'll get into the technicals, but the, the me, the, the, the flying, the way you fly this ship, let me tell you, I flew the ship. It was a fun experience. I felt like a shark thrashing back and forth. And it wasn't so much the rolls of the ship. It was more the yaw of the ship back and forth. Like I was tearing flesh from somebody's arm. Like I just bit into their arm and I was just... And, and the ship has an amazing amount of thrust, as you saw how I knock out. For, for this ship... To be the ship that it is, it's got to. The detail on the ship's great. I noticed that there's a, a refill area here, so it probably runs out of fuel fairly fast. I mean, as fast as I was going in this thing. Um, and it was controllable, though. It was a controllable with a little slight tinge of danger. I, I just like the fact that it wasn't like the Avenger. The Avenger kind of felt sloppy to me when I flew it. And I felt like I was sloshing around like I was in a glass of liquid. This was a very straight razor-like experience. I like that kind of flying, and it's reminiscent of the old Wing Commander type of aircraft. Uh, they even explain it that way. It's an old military model, and I remember flying a ship very similar to this. It was some type of stealth ship on the original Wing Commander. Oh, look how smooth that is. And that gimbal turret on the front was amazing. I could track things like no other and just pick them off. Um, I love these LCD displays now lit up with the new patch no more static images things are starting to get a little bit more finished out i really think they're they're really running for that finish line to get squadron 42 and the and the uh playable universe out there i still think it's going to take them a year at this rate maybe even a little bit longer and i don't mind it so much i really don't let them take their time i don't want them to rush this is so big in scope now the canopy on this really nice view Probably one of the best views of all the canopies in the ships that I've flown thus far. I was able to spot enemies really quickly and take them out. This ship is geared towards one thing, to kill people. <laughs> if you have a competent pilot and you have a lot of these, you're going to win a lot of wars. And this is that type of review where I don't need to get in length with this. It is a very simple one roll type of ship. Now a quick word with our sponsors and we'll be back with the technicals.
All right, let's pop up the technicals here. I wasn't really impressed when I first looked at this at first glance, but then I, I, I really started thinking about it. With that with that front uh, gimbal-mounted uh, turret, and they're labeling it as a um, Scorpion GT215 Gatling, um, I think that the ability for you to actually aim at these ships as you're as you're as you're moving along in the ship rather rather quickly is 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 a very cool feature especially since it's mounted at the front of the ship uh propulsion you have uh, your two main engines he 5.2s maneuvering thrusters you have eight tr1s um your hard points to fix they they have two cf007 bulldogs on them and then like i said the front has the scorpion gt215 pylons which is very cool you have two uh racks of s2s eight eight by missiles uh which is great uh asims um looks like heat sinkers and this ship is an interesting ship because you know you could pop a jump drive on the additional equipment spot but I would tell you that this would be best defined in a carrier type position and not many people are going to have a carrier in the game online. But when it gets serious business mode and, and the future comes rolling down the pike and people really want to get more serious in the game, you're going to have a couple corporations, organizations that are going to have carriers. And these ships are going to be instrumental in putting inside this uh inside your carriers uh, you're not going to want to put the jump drives on them you're going to want them localized so that they have to be dependent upon the carrier if i'm a strategist i don't want them just jumping off into nothing i'm going to equip my carrier with ships that i know these guys can't jump away with my assets i'm going to, i'm going to make sure that they can't jump away that they're dependent upon me for all the goods and and you know what if they're your friends they're going to log in they're going to fly the ships and even if they get tempted, they're not going to be able to do anything. So it is a short-range patrol fighter. It is pretty much dependent upon a mom ship unless you pop on the drive and you want to fly it independently. You don't have to worry about it. But this would be a great pairing with somebody in a larger corporation that was more military-oriented. Now, in the beginning, mind you, you're not going to have a lot of that. You're not going to have a ton of people that had the cash to put down for the carrier. But as the game progresses and people are using in-game credits and they mass in-game credits, which is not hard to do, they will use these credits and they will buy bigger assets. Those are the people that are smart enough to get the money that are going to equip their carriers with tons of these fighters and the bombers that we're going to get into on another review. They will do that. And they will only put jump drives on the ships that they find where their pilots are can be trusted. Because I'm telling you, this ship is not a tank. It can't take a lot of damage. So you have to be able to fly decently. I mean, the thrusters are TR1. And even the primary engines are TR2s, which I was very surprised because there was a lot of thrust that came out of them. Top speed around 240-ish. I still think that this ship is like one of those standbys that you have to have uh in a large uh, oriented army if you go on a, a wolf pack out with these you're gonna create some damage just the pylons with the amount of missiles on there you're gonna be doing some hurt but this you have to be quick you have to be fast and you have to be careful because somebody flying in on top of you is just gonna shred you to pieces now let's talk pricing guys 105 dollars for the gladius i think it's a little bit steep i'm a thrill seeker i like flying this ship it was dangerous it gave me that great feeling but i'll tell you what with a ship like this with a with a very defined role you might want to be careful i'm the type of guy that likes multiple role ships and you can only do this with this ship maybe two different ways as a scout and as a military fighting plane maybe you can find other uses for it but i can't because i flew it and i know what it does so that's that's my review i might get some haters on that but i tell you what i'd save your money for another ship and then I'd buy it later. Great fun. If you're a thrill seeker, get it now. I understand. Thanks for watching the games, guys. More on the way. And don't forget to pledge.